Hey Cancer, this is Alicia with Twisted Tarot, here to do your March 2019 Twin Flame Tarot reading. If you saw the first video, that is your energy. This video is your twin's energy. I break them up into two videos because they are very long. Um, thank you everyone for all your likes, shares, subscribes, comments. You guys are amazing. You make my channel just uh, like awesome. All the love you guys show me is awesome. Thank you so, so much. Um, Keep in mind, guys, this is a general reading. Um, it's not going to resonate with everybody. Um, take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, the energy can certainly be reversed or flip, um, and you can find parts of yourself and your twin intertwined in the video. So I recommend that you watch both um, because you are one soul. So we're doing your energy and their energy, and you know we all know what mirroring, you know, in that like in the first video, you know, you guys can mirror each other. So all right. Um, Let's see what else. If you're looking for personal reading, I don't do just Twin Flames. I do anything. General, uh, love, um, you know, whatever question you have, I can answer it for you um, or let the cards answer it for you um, and uh, help with that. And um, so uh, you can reach me in the link in the description box below for my rates um, and my website as well is there. If you do not have a Facebook, you can email me at twistedtarot at gmail.com and I can send you the rates and info there and answer any questions that you have about um, what I do or what readings I offer. So <clears throat> let's see what else. Um, I am, am an intuitive tarot card reader. So what that means is if you see a traditional tarot card and I say something different than the how you learn the traditional tarot or how other readers um, express it on YouTube, keep in mind that um, I am my own specific tarot reader. I learn things maybe possibly different from other tarot readers. Um, I may interpret cards differently, but I'm intuitively picking up messages as well. So I try to incorporate both, but um, a lot of times I'm being told that card means this specifically. And it may have nothing to do with the tra traditional tarot um, or maybe how I learned the traditional tarot. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clear out the energy and then we're going to get into your twin side of the reading and see what we have for your twin. So if you're wearing headphones, you might want to take them out. It can get kind of loud. Hmm. All right, beautiful. So if you saw the first, uh, if you saw the first side of the reading, you know you could be dealing signs you could be dealing with. We have Leo, Capricorn. We have another Cancer or Pisces here with the Moon card, and we have the King of Wands, which is another Leo. Um, Sagittarius or Aries and we also have the Hierophant here which is Taurus okay so those are the signs that came out in that reading um, if your twin sign did not come out doesn't mean that this reading can't be for you um, again all this stuff does pop out in the readings as I read um, and it may just some of the things may resonate more if your sign does show up here for your twin that you're dealing with um, or it could also be placements in your chart or your twins chart so keep that in mind all right, so mutual energy between you and your twin is the Ten of Pentacles reversed. I feel like for a lot of you, you're no longer putting any effort into this connection. You may have dissolved a marriage or a commitment with this person or you're non-committal or they're non-committal uh, for some of you. And it's just, it's almost like, yeah, somebody, you or both, one or both of you is just like, nah, we're not putting any more time, any more effort into this. Um, at least at this point, um, currently, this is just an energy check-in. So, and it was clarified by the Five of Wands. So one or both of you um, is feeling very defensive over this connection, maybe trying to defend your beliefs about wanting, maybe wanting to just be single with this 10 of Pentacles reversed. Maybe you want to be single with the other person. We have that here on this side very strongly for this King of Wands um, is reversed here. So um, if you saw that first uh, reading, that'll explain a lot for you. But this person, it wants to remain single or is single, okay? Or that's their truth. doesn't mean that they're happy being single. Um, could be that you're unhappy that they want to be single. That could be one of the, that was definitely uh, possibly a secret here or something that had um, interfered with the connection as well. Um, and we had the three of swords reversed, so kind of healing from that um, and possibly some secrets in this connection that could harm you or your twin. Um, so keep that in mind. All right, let's see what's going on with your side. All right, we have Angel. Look at that, beautiful. All right, so it's upright, so we'll take the light attribute, helping those in need with no expectation of return. Okay, so you may be in a profession like this, or you may just be in this, your personality may just be like this. You may just be very loving and giving to the people around you. Um, there's no expectation. This is unconditional love, okay? You may be an angel. People may see you as an angel, okay? 
And if this isn't you, this is people around you that are watching over you that have this, that, or they want you to get into this energy, okay, of being giving and kind and loving and not wondering if, <clears throat> you know, it, that it comes back to you because that's not unconditional love. Un unconditional love doesn't have conditions. So this is very beautiful energy, you guys. So I'm loving that. Good job. All right, next card we have is release anxiety, anger, jealousy, and frustration. Deflect negative energy. Practice meditation on a regular basis. Invoke divine protection. Improve ability to quiet the mind. Yeah, for some of you, you may be feeling anxious. You may be feeling angry. You may be feeling jealousy. You may be feeling frustration, okay? Um, but they want you to help with that with meditations. And I love the meditations on YouTube. I always talk about them. That is something I... Uh, um, talked about my channel from the very beginning. So, um, and invoking divine protection, you can do that by getting new mic as well, but this will also help you meet jet. Okay. I have, um, this, uh, stone somewhere. I don't see it in here. It's like it's missing. Hmm. I do have some, I just don't know where it's at. <laughs> Interestingly enough. Okay. And it says, I'm always divinely protected. I know I am safe. So that will help you with that guys. Okay. Very beautiful. Okay, next card we have is blue, communication and inner truth. So for some of you, your throat chakra may be blocked as well. I would do a throat chakra meditation specifically, um, but it, you may be having a hard time either communicating your inner truth or communicating something um, about how you feel, okay? Or it is open. For some of you, it may be blocked. If you feel that, that it's blocked and you're not able to stand up for yourself or communicate well or to get into this energy, you might want to listen to a meditation to unblock this chakra, and that is the throat chakra. Others of you, you are showing up beautifully here. You may be expressing exactly how you feel. People may not understand it or not understand it, but people may, be not, may not be receptive to it, but it is your truth. And so you're standing in your truth. Very beautiful energy. All right. And that's your inner truth. Okay. And you're trying to communicate that for a lot of you. You're trying to be heard. Okay. Um, and if you don't feel heard, you definitely need to get that, um, try and get that chakra, um, that energy unblocked. This card asks you to empower yourself by seeking your inner truth emotional calmness, or creative expression. You need to communicate who you really are. It's time to accept your and others' originality and uniqueness. Don't worry how people might view you. Jump into your creative expression. You don't need anyone's approval. If you seek it, your inner truth is being stifled. A clue that this imbalance exists is feeling compelled to prove your views are right. So you may be like, okay, listen to me, I'm right about something, and your twin or someone else around you is just like not seeing it from your same perspective. Um, and that does happen. Another clue is the inability to share your thoughts and opinions and harboring feelings of inadequacy. Yes. Blue is the color of the throat chakra representing communication. You can also wear blue to help with that as well, guys. Blue merge, merges your individual consciousness with the universal, universal consciousness. It ups the ante on creativity. Discover your authentic voice and speak your truth. Challenge your views. Look at the beauty in the world's religions and philosophies. Go beyond your cultural allegiances. This exposure will provide you with keen insight and help you stay open to the many pathways of life. Your, your creativity will expand a hundredfold. Yes, I feel like you are mirroring the cancer side as well here with this. So a lot of you are trying to explore your cultural cultural experiences, maybe new ones, maybe something outside of your comfort zone, maybe something that you didn't even know um, was part of your cultural history or your spirituality or your religious beliefs. Those type of things are very much present with this type of cards. It's very beautiful. So I feel like you guys are um, being encouraged to um, explore those things because they matter to who you are and you're going to embrace some new parts of yourself you didn't even know existed, but also seeing things from new perspectives um, and also being able to speak your inner truth. So that's beautiful and communicating well. All right. And you're learning some lessons with this. Yeah. I feel like you may be searching or studying. Um, again, I felt on the other side, you guys may be doing an ancestry.com or DNA, um, where you send in your DNA and have them map you out. And that's beautiful. So you guys are learning about yourself and you're learning some lessons, some spiritual lessons. Yeah. And lessons about communication, lessons about, um, speaking your truth as well. All right. And we have the Empress. Okay. Very beautiful energy. You guys are showing up very beautifully on this side so far. I'm um, the Empress. I'm showing, um, um, it's Taurus obviously, but, um, this is creativity. This is stability. This is someone who can, uh, bring life to things. So if it's not physical where you're not pregnant, it's very possible that a pregnancy, um, for some of you may be pregnant on the side, but for others of you, I feel like it's creativity. Okay. So you're really, you're really growing spiritually and, um, 
and physically as well. So you may be um, getting your hair done. You may be doing some beautiful self-care here. You may be a mother as well for some of you. It's very beautiful. It doesn't mean you have to be pregnant. You could also be a mother on this side. That's very odd. That's very beautiful. Or you're learning lessons about your mother as well. So that it relates to that as well. This could also be your mom. So your mom may be teaching you some things about your heritage or your culture, or you may be embracing that feminine side of yourself or your mother, your mother's line um, of um, history of culture, of culture, cultural beliefs, of um, traditions, things like that. It's very beautiful energy. I'm loving this, guys. Fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Okay, I feel like you may be growing a business. For some of you, you may be growing a business um, very beautifully. You've learned some lessons and they require communication. You may have to communicate a lot for your business, um, whether it's with employees or with, um, uh, you know, suppliers, etc. That type of energy is here. Very beautiful. Twin flame message. I've never forgotten you, even though you think I have. So maybe you just wanted to tell your twin, like, I've never forgotten you. So very beautiful. I'm loving this, you guys. Wow, this is great energy. We have shapeshifter. Awesome. Light attributes. Skill at navigating through different levels of consciousness. Ability to see the potential in everything. So they want you, if you're not in this energy, to be able to shift your consciousness between levels of um, this level, the, the 3D, the the, sorry, the 40, the 5D, et cetera, that there are many levels of consciousness. There's levels to the, um, what we believe, um, our dimensions as well of consciousness. And they want you to embrace that and also see things from different perspectives as you ascend or as you go up through these levels, um, you're going to be you're going to be raising your consciousness and your vibration higher and higher, okay? And you're going to be getting some divine understanding for a lot of you. That is, you're tapping into something beautiful, okay? You're tapping into the divine. You're tapping into your spiritual purpose. You're tapping into um, potential in everything. So it's very beautiful. It's seeing the potential in everything. And the Empress, she sees potential in everything. The Empress is like that. Taurus are like that, okay? Very beautiful. Love that. Next card we have is remember the divine spark within. Aspire towards enlightenment. That's exactly what that shapeshifter is talking about. Enlightenment. Increase mental clarity and intelligence. Improve telepathic communication skills. If you want to do all of these things, this is the stone or crystal for you. It's seraphonite. Very beautiful. My mind and spirit are connected with each other and the divine. Highly recommend that you um, find that stone if, you, if you're looking for spirituality or enlightenment um, and... Uh, and work with it, okay, energetically, okay, you can hold it, you can sleep with it, whatever it helps, it can help you with that, okay, so it's very beautiful energy, wow, you guys, mirror, truth revealed, okay, so there may be some, you may not see yourself the way others see you, and it's, it's this mirror that's trying to, your, your twin may be mirroring to you, you may be mirroring to your twin, you both have mirroring, I feel like you both are like in the same energy, so you either may not be communicating or you are communicating your truth and it may be the same truth. Maybe you both are like, yeah, we just want to, I just want to be single. Um, I just have a path I have to go on or um, I'm just not ready for commitment or what, what have you. But I feel like a lot of you are mirroring these same emotions and feelings and thoughts to your twin. Okay. And a lot of it may be in telepathic communication and maybe in the 5D specifically where you're expressing this truth there. Okay. For some of you. It's looking in the mirror and seeing the truth about something that you just made for us, guys. So you may not see yourself the way that others see you, okay? So there's something about this mirror that can, um, that they want you to self-reflect, okay, about some of your traits as well, some of the things that you could learn from yourself, okay? And maybe you're trying to do that right now. Truth revealed. This is definitely goes along with the uh, throat chakra. This card asks you to take a moment to see the truth about a person or a situation that you've been hiding from yourself. Tune into your honest feelings. Mirror dreams reveal what's real in your relationships and circumstances. They usually occur when you're in denial about something. There may be something that you're not seeing about this connection. You may be in denial about it, and I'm sorry, but I just have to say it. Um, and they're saying it here. So um, this is associated with Archangel Jophiel. Um, take time to view the situation from a different angle or perspective. The beauty you see around you is a reflection of you. See the innocence within yourself. Okay, so it could just be something about yourself. It could be about this relationship, that there's a truth about this relationship. And maybe it's that you guys aren't committed to each other or don't want to be committed or one of you doesn't or both of you. I mean, it could be the same because you are mirroring each other here very heavily, Cancer, and your twin. Wow. Yeah. 
and you're not speaking about this. For a lot of you, you're not expressing that this is how you feel. You may not have, you may have be self-reflecting and not expressing this right now. This is that mute card. This goes along with the throat chakra. All right, we have the star reverse. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, okay? For some of you, you may not be speaking about this because you realize that maybe there's something about this situation that isn't going to come to fruition or that you've given up hope, okay? Some of you have given up hope on this connection um, and you're not wishing for it anymore. You may have, you, you may, there may be a truth that was revealed, a secret here possibly about this person and you were just like, I, I give up. You know, I'm not really, there's not a lot of hope here. There's not a lot of healing that's taking place, um, but it needs to kind of... Um, upright this is healing when it's upright this is this is a need to heal the situation this is a need to forgive as well possibly um the situation or someone for something and, and again i feel like um it could be over some truth that was revealed to you and maybe something was revealed to you about your twin or about um the connection and and now you're like oh okay so now i get who so and so is to me maybe they were just a soulmate not a twin or maybe there's just there was some confusion there um, but a lot of you, I think you've just given up hope and you're not speaking about this and some, maybe because some type of truth was revealed. Bull, do not back down from opposition, show strength and fortitude. Okay. So the bull is a, is another symbol of the empress. Okay. So Taurus is a bull. All right. So I feel like they don't want you to give up, um, show strength and fortitude. They don't want you to give up on yourself or on healing the situation or healing something that's taken place. Um, maybe forgiving the, forgiving yourself or forgiving someone else. I'm not saying what they did was right. Um, I do feel that the star is telling me forgiveness. It's not normally seen as a card like that, but that is exactly what it's trying to tell me here. Okay. But it says, don't back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. This could also be within a business. Okay. So somebody maybe um, this fox person could maybe be trying to, um, you know, it could be this empress as well that's trying to, that's very resourceful, okay? But they don't want you to back down from opposition when it comes to your business, when it possibly comes to healing, um, show strength and fortitude. So they want you to have this hope or get this hope back up for new things um, or a change in this situation possibly um, as well. But it's kind of like they, something needs to be healed as well. Twin flame message. I've thought a lot about you lately. Aww. Beautiful. All right, next card we have is Rebel. Okay, cool. All right, that's reversed. So we'll take the Shadow Attribute. Rejects legitimate authority out of anger. Rebels out of peer pressure or fashion. So for some of you, you may be a millennial watching. Um, don't have, doesn't have to be. Um, but you may just be, re 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 <laughs> I want to say re rebuking, but it doesn't sound right. Um, you may be going against tradition, you may be going against what people think that you that you should wear or dress or how you are, and you're embracing that because it's a part of who you are. You may just be trying to rebel from something. You may be trying to rebel against this connection or your twin at this time, um, but you also, um, it may be out of peer pressure or fashion or society, um, and that's like sheep. So you don't really wanna be in this energy for too long or for the wrong reasons, I guess is what I'm saying. So um, you can challenge authority to affect social change and you can reject spiritual systems that do not serve your inner needs. That would be how you could get into this light energy of this, this card, okay? This could also be someone around you. It doesn't have to be you, okay? So, but I feel like a lot of you are just rebelling against um, tradition. And that's understandable for, for our, that's me. <laughs> I'm like, I'll make my own traditions, guys. And I'll think the way I think and be told what I'm told. And, you know, I don't follow anybody, you know, that's just not me. So I get it. That's awesome. That's an Aquarius too right here. So yeah, if you're an Aquarius, that makes a lot of sense. Maintain an organized approach to life. Manifest goals with ease. Experience a solid foundation. Be grounded and focused. Realize financial freedom. This can be helped with pyrite. Okay, cool. It says, my confidence is rock solid. I take positive action to manifest my goals. So if you're needing some confidence and you're wanting to manifest your goals, this can help with that, okay? Beautiful. Love it. Violet. Okay. Yeah. Spirituality, wisdom, and humility. Yeah. So for a lot of you, violet is very beautiful. You can also, um, your third eye chakra may be open, or you can do a meditation for that. That will help with your spirituality, with seeing, with, um, getting wisdom from, the, from the, um, from your, from your higher power, from the divine, from your higher self as well. It's very beautiful energy. I'm loving this. Okay. 
So the answer is no, is what I got here. Okay, so I'm not sure what that means. We're gonna keep going and I'll see if it'll answer it. Okay, so we have the page of wands. So you may be getting some answer from your twin, some um, information about a job offer or from your twin that somebody says no about. So it's almost like, and it's it's possibly fast communication. It could be passionate. It could be, um, it, it's creative. So it may be a creative endeavor. Somebody maybe tells you no about either you say no or they say no. So page of wands is Aries Leo Sagittarius. It is a younger fire sign. Um, and it could be that somebody says no um, about um, an, an endeavor possibly um, here. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, let's, I'm going to get some more um, information on this card here. We're going to, we're going to take that deck and I'm going to see what no, what no, mean, what the no is to specifically because it's kind of, um, and it may be that you're not speaking to somebody and the answer is no. And there's no, you're not going to open up communication with that person. So you may just be like, nah, I'm not doing that. And it may be no to, um, maybe no to this person that comes to you with this offer. They may offer you something or they may give you some type of, um, they may off, they may question you about something and you tell them that nah, you turn it down. Maybe it could be a younger fire sign that comes in, wants to date you or something like that. Could be that energy, but let's see here. What, what is the answer? Why is the answer? No. What is the answer? No to spirit. Why is, why is the answer? No, no to what? Okay. No to what? These are hard to hold, guys. I'm sorry. But the answer is no to what? Okay. Why is the answer no? Okay. <clears throat> The answer is no. So your divine masculine may tell you, there's a couple messages. Your divine masculine may be telling you no, and they're going to regret this. Okay. So they may say, no, I can't do this. I can't be in a relationship or for whatever reason they say no to this relationship or no to you. Okay. Or you say no to your divine masculine and it causes you regret. Okay. Or it may cause you regret. And your divine masculine isn't isn't showing up in their full power here okay and it's because they have a lot of regrets or you have a lot of regrets but you just don't see them as a divine masculine too for a lot of you this is you thought someone was your divine mass i'm sorry but this is another one you may have thought someone was your divine masculine and they're not and you may have you may regret that you may regret um thinking that they were and you were just questioning it and regretting even even engaging with that person because they weren't even if they're, even if they're, um, even if they are, they're just not in their divine masculine power. So even if this is your twin and they're, they're not saying it's not necessarily for some of you, it isn't for some of you, they're just not act. They're not acting in it, in this energy of a divine masculine who's enlightened and awakened and, um, healed and ready for this. It's almost like now nah, they're just not ready. And you may regret it or they may regret it. Whatever this answer is no to, it may cause a lot of regret. I feel like it's somebody saying no. Either you're saying no to your divine masculine because they're not in, they're not obviously showing correct. They're not showing divine here, okay? Not coming correct. Um, or they said no to you and they're going to regret it. And it puts them right here into this energy of being not divine. Yeah, they're not, they're not embracing a divine path as well. It's very po possible that that's exactly what that is. And that may be the the message that comes in and you just lose all hope over this connection for some of you. Yeah. Sorry guys. Diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Okay. So that may be where this young, there could be a younger fire sign coming in that wants to give you a gift, but you also may say no to that person. I feel like this could go for your divine masculine or for um, a younger fire sign possibly. It doesn't have to be, it could just be that energy of someone who kind of comes in and they're like, I want to date you. And you're like, mm, I don't think so. <laughs> And they may be trying to give you a gift or, um, uh, or, or you're giving a gift to them. Okay. Maybe that's the, maybe that's what it is. Or maybe, um, you know, maybe somebody's trying to give you a gift or you're trying to give them a gift. Um, and this could be a, a child as well. It doesn't have to be, um, a romantic partner. Um, so keep that in mind. It could go, um, one of a couple different ways. <laughs> All right. Twin flame message. You feel like home to me. Aww. 
Dang, that sucks. So if your divine masculine said no to you, they're going to regret it, guys. So, and there's there's going to be huge regret here. You may regret it, regret it if you say no to them, or they may regret it if they say no to you. But either way, they're not showing up as a divine masculine. Okay, so it may be that they are not your divine masculine and you find that out. Or if they are, they're just not acting like this. Okay, that sucks. Sorry, guys. All right, so we have your fortune card here. We have devil. Take care immediately to avoid temptation and deceit. Yeah, definitely felt some deceit over here on your side um, under your energy, Cancer, um, possibly from your whoever you're dealing with, including your twin. So I feel like there's a lot going on here. It's either you or them or both, okay? All right, so take care to... Um, to keep away from that <laughs> if you possibly can. So, um, or that that is surrounding you right now. So that maybe you may want to be aware of it. Okay. And you may see through that truth. Okay. Um, for a lot of you and you're mirroring each other guys, this is total mirrored energy. If you didn't watch the first video, I highly recommend watching that first video. All right, guys, I love you so much. And, um, I will see you for your April videos. Take care.